What is it that draws us to Mary Magdalena? What is it that compels people, especially the women these days, to find her, to engage with her? Just a couple of years ago, she was declared as the saint, the apostle of apostles. But for 2000 years, she was the whore, the sinner. She was despised, she was degraded. And anyone who was following her teachings and the ancient way of love was killed. Now she's rising and maybe you feel the pull with her and are curious. But what was it that made her so dangerous and a threat? Well, she was unified with the life power. You know, that power that moves this horse, the power that moves the ocean, and that fierce wildness of the feminine, the power that move, that births the children, that creates life, that gives life. And it is this very feminine power that we have suppressed, oppressed, but also it was a threat to the patriarchy. It was dangerous. The other, and she was completely united with it and embodied that in her walk, in her life and in her teachings. Because she was an equal teacher to Joshua and she lived a great love that encompassed everything to touch the heart in our deepest core, in our being, the dare to include and touch the shame and the sorrow and the pain that we all carry. It is an inclusive love that does not divide between divine and human, but that radically embraces and encompasses everything. And Mary Magdalena walked this in her life. She embodied it. And I think that's why so many are drawn to her because she also was a revolutionary. Her voice was strong, like the tower of strength. Yes, she was gentle as a dove, but she was fierce as a lioness. She could stand up to injustice. She also united something so essential, the divine spark inside with our sexuality. So nothing is separated. Why I think she's rising? Because she united completely that what is in this world and that what is not of this world. She also, what is so in, you know, captivating about her, she had a really hard life in her time. I mean, she had to imagine, you have to watch your beloved being hanged on the cross. What did she do? She stayed, she stayed for love. Even if it ripped her heart to pieces, she stayed anyway. And she lived for love even when he was departed and taught and healed and actually guided many, many people even though she was degraded. So she is a symbol for us and definitely for those with eyes to see and ears to hear. Something deeper is being revealed when you look through the layers, when you hear with the inner ears. And a tremendous gift is waiting to be unleashed through us and through you. And so this is what I do with my women. And they experience that liberation that comes from connecting with the life force, that comes from opening the heart to radically everything. And that comes from being together in that ancient lineage, which reveals so much more to us if we only stop and heed the call and follow her home.